Would you like to ask a few questions? Thank you, Senator Heinrich. Um, I'd like to first direct my questions to the Deputy Secretary to talk about small modular reactors. It's a topic that comes up very often as I talk to leaders around the world and to business leaders as well. Um, I think you've had some discussion with Ranking Member Kennedy already today, but I'd like to just establish a couple of basic points first. Um, my first question, does the department consider nuclear energy clean, sustainable, and carbon-free energy? A yes, no answer would be fine. Absolutely. Nuclear energy is a top priority for us. And as I said, my colleague, uh, Ranking Member Kennedy, I think, has already confirmed with you uh, that the department um, would state that nuclear power is the most reliable energy source, and it's not even close. That's a direct quote. And also to quote, nearly two times more reliable as natural gas and coal units and almost three times more reliable than wind and solar plants. Uh, that's from the Department's Office of Nuclear Energy website. So I'd like to come back to you and ask that given that nuclear energy is clean, carbon-free, and more reliable than other energy sources, do you agree that the United States should be encouraging the production of more nuclear power? Absolutely, and we've got a lot of funding, thanks to Congress, to uh, uh, extend the lifetime of our existing nuclear, which is incredibly important. It's about 20% uh, of our overall electricity generation in our country, as you know, Senator. And then also focusing, just as you said, on SMRs, on the small modular reactors, the reactors of the future, top priority for us. Well, the demand is clearly there, as I said. As I speak with, with uh, leaders around the world, I was just in Latin America and talking with leaders there who are trying to make transitions, and they see this as a great opportunity to partner with the United States of America. And also, uh, it, it's an area that would satisfy important demands while meeting certain climate objectives. My next question is that, given all of that, why aren't we building more nuclear power plants? So this is where we've got the uh, six billion in credits to try to uh, extend the lifetime extension of the existing nuclear, and we're working mm -hmm. as quick as we can on the uh, advanced uh, reactor demonstration program uh, at being the leader in small modular reactors. And it's not just Latin America. I was in Latin America as well, where everybody's focused on SMRs and U.S. leadership in mm -hmm. that space, but it's Eastern Europe and it's mm -hmm. a lot of other countries around the world. So there's huge U.S. domestic opportunities, but there's also a lot of jobs in an export environment as well. So completely agree with you on that point. I spent a great deal of time in my previous job working with Japan and their energy security and their strategy there. There's also a tremendous demand in developed economies like Japan in particular. Uh, that's why I think it's very important to direct our scarce government resources toward technological innovation, increasing e efficiency, and, and doing things of that nature. And th my next question is that do you agree that it's in our nation's interest for the next generation of nuclear reactor technology, and also the related supply chains and the technologies that are around it, to be developed and pioneered here in the United States? Absolutely. My concern is that this administration seems to be more focused on pouring billions of taxpayer dollars into wind and solar when we have a serious situation where China controls a lot of the natural resources and a lot of the supplies there, as opposed to being a competitive advantage for America, where in contrast, if we look at nuclear power, it's an area where the United States actually does possess a lead. We can build a supply chain that doesn't pass through China, uh, but it requires us to develop the next generation of this technology right here in the United States. Then in March, the DOE released a series of reports that were focused on green energy technologies, including a report focused solely on advanced nuclear. That report stated, and I'm going to quote, it's likely that the first design to reach a critical mass of orders may be a Gen 3 plus SMR. I attended an event in March in which the Tennessee Valley Authority, G. Hiatachi, Ontario Power, and Synthos announced that they're teaming up to advance the global deployment of grid scale, uh, grid scale modular nuclear reactor. That first SMR in North America is going to be built in Canada, not in the United States. However, the next SMR, and the first in the United States, could be built at the Clinch River site in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. You might be wondering why I'm talking about this. Um, that site in Oak Ridge, uh, that site has an early site permit from S for SMR that the Nuclear Regulatory Commission has already, uh, has already issued. So wouldn't deployment in the United States of commercial grid-scale module reactors be a substantial step toward our leadership in this technology? Absolutely, and Oak Ridge and Tennessee have had a real leadership for decades in this mm -hmm. space. So my question then, does the department support this project? 
So we've been very supportive of projects across the country. We're spending billions of dollars and really prioritizing this. And um, uh, the quicker we can get this technology available in Tennessee, across our country, and across the world, the better the world will be. Does the President's budget request have any funding for this particular project in it? So the President's budget request uh, for this fiscal year took into account that we had some extraordinary funding, especially for the ARDP, the Advanced Reactor Demonstration Program, uh, through the bipartisan infrastructure legislation. So because there was a significant amount of funding there, uh, we made thoughtful choices and thoughtful decisions to make sure that we had a balanced portfolio across, uh, across all of our- in, in fact, there's zero funding right now. And what I want to do is encourage you to accelerate this because the market opportunity is before us. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Senator 